Look at, I love the coloring there, yeah. Nice, early morning it does give you a nice color. It's kind of fun to be out that early. Just chilling off a little bit. As you can see, I got a jacket on. You can see that. Hey, there's a Monday morning wake up call for you. Look at what we're doing. We're feeding wildlife. Hey, we're at least accomplishing that, right? Look at all those little antelopes out there. Uh, there's probably, I know there was like seven, and then another four came in, so about 11 antelope out there. Two or three bucks, a whole bunch of girls. From my typical position, yeah, we're getting the planter out, so. Hoping for some rain this weekend. Brent's gonna be gone at the end of the week, but oh, stop beeping at me. I'll put my seat on. All right, so yeah, that's the planter. We're getting it out today. Hoping by Monday we've got some moisture in the ground. Hoping that we can start planting. We've got three or four pieces we're gonna plant. As far as I am aware, the one big piece up here, up in there, and then the pieces down below. So we're moving the drill planter if you'd want it but it's a drill it's called a drill because it, i don't know why it actually technically called a drill i have to ask brent about that why they call it a drill because it doesn't really drill it just drops seed in the ground with those points you can see underneath you go along and those bins on top are filled with seed and they drop the seed in the ground at a certain designated amount according to how you can set the gauge you can plant, you know, obviously as heavy as you want or as light as you want, but that's what they, you know, they talk about planting heavy or planting light would be the change inside those drills. The little bar that you can see, some little bars, it's kind of hard to see, but there's some little reflector bars up in there, the flat pieces that tells you, and then the, there's, those are the indicators as to how much seed is getting out. It kind of shows you that the bar is rotating so that you know that seed is actually getting out. Sorry, this is kind of a rough way to explain this story while I'm still driving down the road and kind of you can see everything in my windshield. But that's what it is. So now we're out doing the drill. So these are a little more narrow because we pull them sideways. They pull sideways and then they, they, when you put them on the ground, the big hitch on the right hand side there, that's what pulls as you plant. So there you go. Okay, here we are. We're loading seed this morning. Got my friend here from Australia. He brought the seed from Australia. I'm kidding, of course. Yeah, sorry, we didn't pay any attention. I wasn't paying attention to what's going on. So, we got a little makeshift job here. This is what we do, because we're a little, you know, rinky-dink. That's what we are. Go farm. So he brings that in. We up here loaded in me. And that'll be here until we put it on the trailer. So we'll load it out over I think we'll load it out over in another hole on the other side. We might load it out here. Maybe. I don't know. I don't know what he has planned, but anyway. So we loaded on a seed auger truck so that we can put it in, in the uh, drill. So that's our early morning 7 o'clock wake-up call. So drivers from Australia had to give him a bad time. He's got a really nice truck. And that's what we're doing this morning as we're cruising around trying to get our seed on. Okay, talk at you in a little bit. So for all the average guys that aren't farmers, I gotta tell you, this right here is the most deadly thing on the farm, really. The rotating shaft is open, so you can be very careful. I know because I got caught by one day one day about killing me. That me up, snapped up my vest, about cut me in half. So, especially when they're electric, be very careful just kind of i'm kind of like i'm staying away from that as far as i can <laughs> not that i have uh ptsd or anything but i might have ptsd so sun's coming up oh yeah sun's bright over there coming up so, got out here early he'd have been here earlier but he missed it last night so. got miguel on the ladder making sure that i'm doing my job I gotta move up here in a minute. So he's checking me out. So in order to get this right, you have to move up. I moved up a little bit. Kind of put the grain all the way across the bottom of the hopper and across the top so it didn't peak up too high. So first move, 
Probably got one more move. <coughs> Brain death. Before we're done, pull out at least one more move. You know, seven o'clock in the morning, bright and early. Farmers, that's what we do, right? Yeah, I like my eight o'clock in the morning. <laughs> Admittedly, I'm one of those that go, hey, we're farming here. We don't have a schedule to make. We just show up when we show up. Now we do eight o'clock. We're pretty consistently eight o'clock in the morning. Time changes and all that crap. So, boy, I sure like how that looks, man. Look at that. I love the coloring there. Yeah. Nice early morning. It does give you a nice color. It's kind of fun to be out that early. Just chilling off a little bit. As you can see, I got a jacket on. I think you can see the, the breath. So we got thinking, I got a video of some of this because we're trying to get out here to get to this other drill up here and steal some parts. And we got off the road. We're on the other side of the old railroad bed for Merker, I think is what they call that. And the old railroad bed for Merker. And we're out here just hitting all this clump grass, bouncing around doing our little thing here so we figured we better film some of this to show that we're out here in the middle of flipping nowhere it's kind of fun though ground i haven't seen up here it's kind of fun to see it i've never seen it i've never been on this side of the railroad bed so it's kind of fun Let's see what's out here so what we've been tasked with today was to fix the other drill and get it ready for planting and we're looking for bearings and we're not, uh, we're gonna have some fun looking. And so we're also bringing these, what he calls press wheels. These are press wheels because they press the top of the dirt back down. And uh, here's one, Miguel, that might be good. Two, maybe. Anyway, so we're robbing parts off of older stuff because they don't make parts for these anymore. Basically, you can see all of these out here have all been kind of robbed and pieces have been stolen off not stolen i mean because we're, we're taking them so they're, they're ours but yeah we'll see what's going to be usable that's that's our task for the day this old gal here 100 million years old a whole lot straighter than the other one i should i should rob these parts and take them oh they're reinforced in first they're reinforced i'm really good they're reinforced um yeah i don't know how long it's been out here but uh here it sits it's kind of one of those pictures you know maybe i should take a picture of this and, and put it on like the internet not <laughs> you know it's a nature photography it's old farmer photography is what it is okay so this is the one we're fixing we're gonna put a new wheel on it put a new bearing in it so these are the bearings this is one that's all put together so this is the drill it's an old drill though i'm telling you this dude some of these press wheels are wore out. But, uh, oh, that's got to have a new bearing, too. Miguel, that might need a new bearing here, too. Well, that seems to be okay. So anyway, that's what we're tasked with doing. So this is the one we're putting back together. Fix all the things that we need. <laughs> yeah, the, the, the reinforce these, these deals here up there on that other one you could see that they were straighter and more reinforced may not be as big but yeah because it's a two it's only a two and this is a three i've used this one before to plant and uh, it's all right it's easier to get into than the john deere but i smashed my thumb here one time on these lids ow that hurt anyway well, you know like normal making miguel do all the work but i'm gonna quit filming here so we can get some work done but that's our project for this day, is getting that guy going back. So it'll be our second drill, so we can use it over the other side of the road. Because you can't drag it anywhere because it's like really long. So it's three of those, so really wide, you can't drag it across the road. All you can do is just kind of up over the road and stuff, so. Okay, here we go. So I had to talk about this. This is what we've got going on. So we're missing this little pin right here. That, uh, where can you see it right there? That pin is out. And it needs to, that one piece on the right there needs to push in. And there's not enough leverage to make it work. So we're now going to see if we can put a strap on the back of the front of the tractor and pull it. Because we're working against this spring. 
and we're picking that spring's probably super loaded plus it's rusty so it's gonna be difficult to deal with so we just gotta get that pin in and once that pin's in then we're done with it so let's see how this works all right i gotta tell you it took me a minute to figure it out but um we leveraged okay so all right this is gonna be hard to explain but i'm gonna explain it because i thought okay this is crazy this is one of those ingenious seals so this piece was was back here okay it was back in this position we rate we put it into this position to get the the pin to go into that position so then what i did we tried all these different little stupid ways to do it i thought okay so if we pull back it'll force that pin because this rod right here oh this is it this, this rod would force that pin back towards us so with enough effort hey <laughs> i really i think i was born to be a farmer because it's just you know the ingen ingenuity the ingenious way of figuring out how to make that sucker work it just took me a couple minutes to figure it out but we got it so we finished that one out which was a tricky piece so in this process then we cleaned it out last year we got to go ahead and clean it out again this year because you don't know what kind of mice and stuff have been in there so we blow down to each one of those tubes to make sure that the air comes out that way that grain comes out and if they're broken which we just had a broken one we fix it so there we go gotta make sure it comes to the ground is all that may be dirty 